Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. So guys, this is the part two of my video series on how to create Tinder clone app in Android Studio. All right, so guys, in this series we will create the Tinder app. All right, step by step. So guys, uh, this series will contain maximum thirty videos. All right, and after the thirty videos, we will be able to use the Tinder app, and uh, you will also be able to uh, upload the app on Play Store. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, we will create the project. So uh, click on Start a new project, and here we have to write Tinder, and I will save that into my let's say in uh, c drive users harun so guys if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe i will be uploading a lot more videos all right so here we will select this one and we select next and from here i will select marshmallow minimum sdk because my uh, android device is uh, marshmallow all right you can have any of them so i prefer this one six marshmallow okay so i click on next and here we will select the empty activity and when we click on finish so our project will be ready to create and we will be able to start our coding on the tinder app all right so guys in this video we will uh, integrate the firebase sdk into our application because we will be using the firebase all right so first of all we have to remove all that and we have to change it to relative layout and what we need here is two buttons for sign in and sign up all right so i will take two buttons and i will click i will also take another button all right so in our button We will have sign up and the second button will be sign in all right so guys this will be the uh, main activity all right when the user will open the activity for the very first time so uh, we will have this so first in uh, so in this video uh, let's open the firebase console alright and we will go to our console so it's taking uh, a bit of time and from here we have this uber uh, project alright so if you have not already checked my channel please check i am also creating video tutorials on how to create uber app all right so here we will select this one and here we will create the project and we will click on add project and let me first of all check whether if we have okay so here we will uh, write our name of the app as tinder and we will select the country as pakistan and we will click on create project all right guys so now we have this uh, the project is now ready so now we have to add firebase to your android and we have to click that and here we have to uh, paste the android package name so for that you have to go to your manifest file and from here you can copy and 
and you can paste that and after that you have to click on uh, here you have to change the app name so you have you can say tinder all right so for uh, sht1 uh, for that you have to click on gradle and you have from there you have to refresh and from that you have to go to app android and you have to click on signing report and from there you can have this sha1 all right so here you have to copy that and uh, uh, we will not need this but uh, we will need this in later part of our video series okay so you can uh, Uh, you can uh, paste the code here or you can also click on this is register app without pasting the SHA1 code okay so now here it is saying that you have to download the google services dot json so we have to check if we have already so we don't have the so we will click on download uh, google services dot json and uh, it's now there so we have to copy that and we have to paste that in our so we have to go to our project view and in here we have to paste that in our app folder so we have pasted it so we have to close that okay so now our um, uh, we have the json file here okay so now we will click on continue and so we will have to copy the uh, code here and we have to paste that in our build.gradle and we have to paste that here and after that we have to open this and we have to paste it here and we have now we have to click on sync now we will synchronize and after that we need to click finish okay so now our app is on our firebase console so let's see if we have any error or not So uh, we have successfully integrated the Firebase uh, here. So here we have to add the dependencies. So for that we have to go to Firebase dependencies Android. And so here from here we can paste the dependencies. So before that we have to co first of all copy it and we need to go to our moven and here we have to paste and after that we have to paste uh, first of all uh, out so we need authenticate for authentication purpose so here we can say so we have to remove the constraint layout compile and we also need a database where is database so here we have this database and after that we need the storage all right and we finally need crash all right so now we have to click on synchronize and so this will be Mm-hmm. 
guys i am requesting you again please if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe i need more subscribers and i will also be uploading a lot more videos on android and java so we have to wait until it is uh, successfully done In the meanwhile, let's add some uh, user permissions. So here we say the permission internet, and we also need user permission location access uh, access course location and user permission access find location. Okay. guys it is taking a lot of time because it's the latest version of firebase 11.6.2 we could have a lower version as well so you you uh, you have to wait So guys it's now finished okay so we don't have any error so uh, if you have if you like the video please uh, like it and subscribe and also share the video all right so let's meet in our third part okay goodbye